I'm Jason with Gardner Benner Technical Service Department. And right now we're going to be going over our one shot units. It does half all the way up through two inch conduit. These units only do rigid conduit. We have the cylinder, the locking pin, the locking pins. So the parts that hold the conduit while we do the bend, they're marked for what sizes you'll be bending. We'll be bending two inch conduit. It'll sit here in the widest one. And then you can adjust these all the way down a half inch. Then we have our bend angle guide. It'll be starting at zero. First thing we're gonna do is This is a single acting cylinder. For some of the one shot units, you can get a double acting cylinder and use an electrical pump. The electrical pump and the double acting cylinder would allow you to remove the conduit from the shoe without a lot of work. Slides into place, put in the locking pin. We're going to tighten it up a little bit here, make it a little bit more snug. Now when you go to attach the hoses, you want to make sure that you're pushing in all the way to make sure that this seals together. You continue to push until it's tight. There we go. We're going to lay this back and insert our two inch rigid. Come over to the pump here. We're going to tighten the pump so we can start building pressure. It has a little spot on here so you can put your foot to hold the pump down while you're doing this. We don't really need to though. Pressure's starting to build. The shoe's moving. And you can see over here that it's starting at zero. And we're going to try and get it all the way to 90. And these do not account for spring back. So we'll have to bend a little bit past 90 in order to get a 90 degree bend. Now with the units that allow you to remove the conduit from the shoe, you can move these pins to a position like this to help you remove it. There is another version of this specific one-shot unit that allows you to do that. That's why these are in here. But unfortunately, because it's only a single acting cylinder, as soon as you remove the pressure from the cylinder, it would just rest the conduit at this position. And it would make it very difficult for you to remove it. With this unit, we'll have to remove the shoe with the conduit on it and pry the conduit out of the shoe. Now, these units are primarily ideal for job sites where you don't have any power. They're low cost, but manual and labor intensive. We're coming up on 60 degrees here. They're really good for overseas where most of our electrical vendors don't match up with the European power. Here we come up on 75 degrees. Almost 
equals to 90. So we're pretty much on the 90 mark. I can guarantee you it's not going to be it's not going to be a 90 degree bend. So we're going to bend over a little bit. And that's to account for the spring back. Like all mechanical benders and hand benders, you're always going to want to get familiar with the unit before you start really bending on it. We're taking it to a job site. I'm going to relieve the pressure here. Shoe's going to retract. Release our locking pin. Remove the shoe. We lay this up against the tile here. And you can see it is a 90 degree bend. And the harder part is to remove the shoe from the conduit. You can either use a crowbar or a hammer. Usually those are the, the easier ways. Again, you can also get our ejectomatic unit that has extra pinholes and a double acting cylinder to help you remove it before you even remove the conduit from the vendor. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 1-800-624-4320. Just choose option two for technical support, or you can email us, tech.support at gardnerbender.com. Thanks for watching.